This video will cover export interface outputs with mask. The pressing application previously created will be modified and two outputs will be added. In the command table while holding shift, click line 6 and 7, cut them using control X, click line 10, and paste using control V. In line 4, the value for the true condition needs to be changed to 8. Under the command type conditions, find the command if actual position greater than. The condition value will be 51 millimeters. The true command ID is line 7. The false command ID is line 8. To set the upper position limit, under conditions, the command if actual position less than is needed. The condition value is 53 millimeters. The true command ID is 9, and the false command ID is 8. To have an error output on X4.3, under the category All, scroll up and find the command Write X4 Interface Outputs with Mask. For X4.3, the bit mask is 1 and the bit value is 1. The auto execute box will be checked and the command line will be changed to line 10. X4.4 will be used to acknowledge that the motor is within the specified limits. Copy line 8 and paste it into line 9. For X4.4, the bit mask is 2 and the bit value is 2. The auto execute box is checked and line 10 is still used. In line 11, check the auto execute box as a way to reset the outputs will be added. Under conditions, add a 1 second wait time. In line 13, copy and paste the right X4 interface outputs with mask command. To reset both outputs, the bit mask needs to be 3 and the bit value is 0. Uncheck the auto execute box as this ends the loop then download the changes to the drive. Instead of using the motion command interface to run the command table sequence, the run mode will be changed to triggered command table with x4.6 as the trigger. The inputs and outputs need to be set up in the parameters. The I.O. definitions are under drive configuration in the motion control SW. x4.3 and x4.4 need to be changed to interface outputs. The function for x4.6 needs to be changed to trigger. In the trigger settings, change the trigger mode to direct. To change a run mode, go to Motion Control SW, Motion Interface, and then Run Mode Settings. Click on Run Mode Selection and make sure it's on Triggered Command Table. Then go to the triggered command table settings and change the rise command table entry ID to 1. This means on the rising edge of X4.6, the pressing application will begin. Now that everything is set up, go back to the control panel and restart the firmware. Now that the firmware is running, the motor can be enabled and homed. X4.6 can now be used to trigger the sequence. When there is nothing to press, the motor current is too low, and X4.3 shows that there is an error. When there is something to press against, but the motor travels less than 51 millimeters, an error occurs. When the motor travels between 51 and 53 millimeters, X4.4 is used to signal that it's within the specified range. An error also occurs when the motor travels past 53 millimeters. Thank you for watching Linmot Tutorials.